All right, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. We're going to talk about the crypto markets today. We're also going to talk about some NFT opportunities that I believe uh, that are available on the Solana network. And then just talk about a couple of altcoins that I'm watching in my general positioning and outlook in the market. So let's uh, start off with Bitcoin, the king of the market. Uh, we can see right now that BTC, um, especially on the overnight session of the U.S., kind of tried to uh, break up from this parallel channel, but rolled over and broke down. So this is now telling me that, you know, once again, we're trying to strike back towards these lows um, unless we're able to start shifting away from these lows. So it could create maybe a higher low like this, right, unless we start moving away from this low. Uh, it is entirely possible that we hit my next big target, which is the $41,000 level. And a couple of days back, I had actually mentioned this to Advantage members, our paid members. And I stated that, first of all, you can kind of see semiconductors, transports, U.S. equities starting to roll over. This was about three days ago. And I stated that the big support levels for um, Ethereum or uh, Bitcoin or different altcoins were these levels right here. Pretty much all of them um, got hit, uh, got hit except near. <clears throat> Ethereum hit 31.75. I'm pretty sure, um, as you can see right there, right? We hit a low down here of about 31.40, and then we hit BTC 43,000, obviously. Um, and then you know, if if 43 breaks, like I'm looking towards uh, 41, in which case uh, Ethereum would probably break back towards maybe 3150 or all the way down to about 3000 flat. Okay. Um, Solana, we hit the 120 support, right? Uh, Solana is actually trading at 113. It went a little bit deeper than that. Um, other altcoins like, you know, Luna obviously uh, hit that $100 target that I was looking for. Um, you know, Rune, I was looking for 925. It went a little bit deeper than that. Right, so this was my key level right here. Um, it went slightly below that around 890. So all in all, right, all these targets came to fruition. And this was sort of the um, you know, breakdown that I was looking for. And as you can see, we pretty much you know, got it, right? So where to from here, okay? Um, well, I believe right now my thought process uh, still looks at this with caution in terms of more downside. But what I'm recognizing in the market is as BTC sits much closer to the lows from two days ago, right? Other altcoins, you know, not so much. They're actually percentage wise, like slightly higher. You know, you can make the argument that here on Rune, the percentage, you know, is uh, um, a slight higher low. Near obviously put in a big move to the upside because Near is now doing. Um, its own stable coin called, called USN, similar to the Luna and UST um, pair. Um, that, that could be propelling it higher. And then you could see AVAX right here also performing um, much better than Bitcoin, right? So you could see AVAX is clear higher low right here. Um, so point is that you're seeing, you know, slight dispersion in the market where you start to recognize that okay, you know, there are certain altcoins that are doing better than BTC and altcoins doing better than other altcoins. And my general thought process is look for the outperformers right now, right? Look for Nier and AVAX and maybe even Rune and Solana. Um, as long as these guys are holding up better, even if the market is you know, breaking down to the downside, you want to see the ones that are not breaking as hard on a percentage basis, okay? And so um, in this particular area, right, if BTC starts breaking down, I'm going to start looking for buying opportunities in the altcoins that I mentioned. Solana, AVAX, Near, Luna, Rune, 
right? These altcoins are the ones that I want to keep my eye on. Um, I think all of them pretty much look ready for maybe one more break to the downside. I don't know if it'll happen today, but I don't know if it'll happen, you know, this weekend. Weekend volume and volatility is just, it's usually something that you can write off, but sometimes you get pretty massive moves on the weekend. So, you know, probably pay attention to that, right? Head into the weekend time. Uh, if the market looks weak going into the weekend, uh, it's generally a sign that, you know, some big moves might happen. Uh, in which case, you never know if you're able to buy uh, big drops in the market or if you get, you know, big breakout moves over the weekend, you can kind of, you know, get in and out of your positions um, quickly, like take some quick scalp positions um, in altcoins or BTC, et cetera, okay? So um, that is really what I'm thinking, you know, overall. Uh, there's really not a whole lot else to talk about. I really like the fact that Ethereum still looks much stronger than most alts and definitely, definitely looks stronger than BTC. Um, because my uh, overall thesis for all points is that when you start seeing, you know, first of all, Ethereum start to outperform BTC. So th this is a general chart of Ethereum versus BTC, right? This chart clearly represents um, how Ethereum is doing in relation to BTC. That is all what this ratio is about. And when you start seeing, you know, the market trending up like this in ETH BTC, it is actually a sign of outperformance of a higher risk asset, which is Ethereum, um, which is also a signal of um, you know, altcoin movements in the market. So Ethereum is also signaling that, hey, you know, altcoins are right now looking good, good quality altcoins. Now, I don't know exactly what good quality altcoins are out there. Maybe it's Ethereum and Solana and Near and Luna. Maybe other people might think it's something else. They might say it's Atom or Sushi or Phantom, right? But my thought process is, what do I use on a day-to-day -day basis? What has you know good transactions, um, high volume, high throughput, a good TVL? Um, what are people talking about on a day-to-day -day basis, right? These are the things that I pay attention to. Um, and in my opinion, the altcoins that I am sort of looking at, like the AVAXs, Ethereum, Solana, um, you know, Luna, Rune, these have clear fundamental edge in the market. And, and I believe, you know, that these are going to outperform the rest of the market. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, Ethereum outperforming BTC, good sign means risk on. Um, you know, I, I mentioned to our Advantage members, again, if you want to join our Advantage membership, you can go to the products page, uh, sign up for the Advantage membership right here. It's only 97 a month. Um, if you are not able to afford 97 a month, I really, really do hope that you have a proper strategy um, for you know buying spot and not using leverage. Um, I really, really do not uh, recommend leverage for really anybody unless you know what you're doing in the market. Because more often than not, people treat leverage as almost like you know um, gambling money, right? Um, you're seeing it as a, as an opportunity to lever up in the market. You're given this free money. Uh, and you think that you can make, you know, uh, from a thousand dollars, you could turn it into a million. But problem is, most people will lose that thousand. And you know, if you have a thousand bucks and you add up, I don't know, a hundred thousand, ten thousand people, that's a lot of money, right? If everybody borrows a little bit of money on leverage, uh, and that's really how you feed the beast of the market. The trick of the market is recognizing, you know, when to put on leverage, in what size. Uh, with what kind of risk. And that's what I kind of explained in my Advantage membership uh, subscription right here is how I utilize uh, leverage. We have an entire 5K count challenge, which I fully and transparently show my Advantage members how I go about trading it. Um, and so this is sort of the edge that you have in the market if you really want to learn and you want to see um, how I as a uh, trader, a day trader does it on a daily basis, okay? So I, earlier, I obviously at the beginning of the video, I showed you all these gains reviews from all our members, you know, who've been with us for months and years, um, honestly, uh, and they're very happy with our subscription, very happy with our service. And not only, you know, do we provide a ton of analysis, a ton of information, but, um, you know, we also have a lot of uh, stuff for the NFT area as well. 
you know, in the NFT area, um, especially um, uh, other members like Hui and Elizabeth and TKTZ, other, other members have pointed out some amazing opportunities that people have gotten into our community at a, at a very early stage. And it's been amazing to watch people uh, make a ton of money through the NFT world. Okay, so I'm going to point out, you know, two opportunities in the NFT world that I've been sort of talking about uh, vocally for a while. Uh, first of which is the Degods community. Uh, you guys know very well. I've been talking about the Degods community since November um, with our Advantage members, our paid members. And, you know, the paid members were able to look at the floor price go from uh, two Solana, like two Sol, all the way to 150 Sol. Okay, it's been an amazing journey for some of us who bought into the Degods um, NFT, and I'm really glad that some of my members got to make some incredible money, incredible gains off that. Uh, another opportunity that I want to point out, um, and once again, you know, uh, this is not me shilling or anything. I, I really want to support this community because it reminds me of what happened with the Degods community early on. So let's talk about um, Tombstone High Society. So I first heard about Tombstone High Society through a podcast from uh, one of the one of the owners of the the CEOs of the Degods community, and he mentioned what he likes about the Tombstone Society and how it resonated with him. And I thought that okay, well, if this person has created the Degods brand and he recognizes success in another brand, you know, let me just see for myself what's out there. And when I looked into the Tombstone High Society community. It's very reminiscent of exactly what I saw in the Degas community very early on, which is that they have a very tight knit community. They have a strong uh, vision and idea of how they want to go about their NFT and vision process. And more importantly, what they're doing is they're having this joints token, which is going to be rewarded to you as a staker of your NFT. Very similar to, once again, what Degods is doing. Now, as a Degods holder, I want to see the process of other communities replicate what Degods is doing already successfully. And this makes me feel good that Tombstone Society is following that formula, that template. Now, they don't have to copy them exactly, but I trust the artists, the creators, um, the founders of this community to do well. And so I picked up one of the Tombstone um, High Society pieces. I really like this piece a lot. Um, you know, I, I'm probably going to buy more, but for now, I'm happy with this one. And, you know, I, I just liked the engagement from the people. Again, you can kind of look at the uh, welcoming of um, other Tombstone members, you know, sort of bringing you into the community, welcoming you. And this is the kind of love that you want to see, Right. Crypto, for the most part, is all about community. And NFT space is especially about community. If you don't have a community that is vocal, that is talkative, that is supportive, uh, you're not going to have a successful NFT project. And I believe that Tombstone High Society is probably the next one that I'm going to definitely keep my eye on. I encourage you to do your own research. Um, definitely check them out. All right. So these two are the NFT projects that I wanted to mention. Okay. Um, other than that... You know, I'm not really seeing anything in the uh, data from the um, footprint data right here. Decent walls coming up to buy right here around the $42,000 level. <clears throat> but like I said, right, I think we may have one more flush on the way down towards 41000 And, in, you know, in which case, maybe some of these altcoins start coming down as well. Um, that would be the ideal situation. If not... Um, I'm already positioned long in certain alts. Uh, I've mentioned this once again to my Advantage members in the um, in the 5K count challenge right here. Okay, you can uh, join our membership uh, here, thealphatrace.com products page. Join the membership. Okay, I hope y'all join. I hope y'all um, come hang out with us. Make sure you do your research. Nothing is meant as financial advice. All right. Good luck to you. Take care. Make sure you follow my Twitter feed. I drop a ton of alpha on my Twitter feed as well. Um, you know, a lot of it for free. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Cheers.